You're listening to the Davy Mac Sports Program on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. Oh, man. What's wrong, Pepper? Davy Mac, I'm looking to buy a new car, and the process is just such a hassle. There's got to be a better way. Oh, there is. TrueCar.com. At TrueCar.com, you can actually see what others paid for the car you're looking for in your area. So you know when you're getting a great price, Pepper. TrueCar.com. So I have to go to TrueCar.com, and it'll make this process easier? Easy peasy. Go to TrueCar.com, get a savings certificate, and just... Just take your savings certificate to the True Car certified dealer so you don't need to worry about the hassle and anxiety of the old way of buying a car. And True Car users save an average of $3,000 off MSRP, Pepper. $3,000. I've only just heard of TrueCar.com and I feel my anxiety disappearing. I have no anxiety because of TrueCar.com. Why wouldn't you go? Negotiation free guaranteed savings. Free experience and a true car certified dealer that is committed to a new and better way to buy a car. Save time, save money, never overpay. TrueCar.com. David Mack, I'm going to TrueCar.com right now. Great job, Pepper. It's the David Mack Sports Program. Davy Mac Sports Program on Riotcast.com. Oh, and here's your huh. host, Dave McDonald. Where yes, is he? sir. Where is, he? where is he? What do you mean, where am I? I'm right here. Where is he? I don't see him. I'm there here. He where, where, where? I got from Long Island at 645 to Times Square at 725. Impressive. I beat the announcer, the co-host, Chris Pepistella! Oh, you got here before me. It's yeah. embarrassing. Yeah, it is. It is embarrassing okay. is what I was going to say. The engineer extraordinaire back. Back and better than ever, baby. Yo. Yeah. Sean O. Sean O. Fresh with a new haircut, baby. Are you going gray on us? Uh, yeah, been gray. He's been going. Are you ass. really gray though? Yes, yeah, he's got yeah. a. Uh, it's like a. It's like a redhead thing. It's like an Anderson Cooper type of deal over oh, there. Yeah, dude, I had three kids. All right, yeah. said, join CNN. He said it started growing <laughs> gray since he met you, Dave. Oh, yeah. red. Of course, our musical legend, Roy Shaper. Ah! Ah! Roy, it's Roy. Came straight from. Uh, and by the way, yes, you are listening to the Davy Mac Live from the Compound Sports Program, starring what? Dave and Pepper and Anthony Cumia, as we are here live. On the program. No, I just got uh, back from the compound show on uh, Anthony's uh, channel there, his own show, and it was a wonderful experience. And somehow, before the show, we started talking about Roy Schaefer. About me. And I explained that we have this little thing, this little tradition in the Davy Mac Sports program, which is when anyone says something good off the air, we say, save it for the Schaefer. Most people say, save it for the air. We say save it for the shafe, right? Yeah, that's that's what we say. We yell at each other, actually. And after I told that to Anthony, he says, from now on, every time I need to say that to a guest, I'm going to say save it for the shafe. Oh! And not even explain. So, bam! So, you're welcome. You're welcome. You just became a Long Island legend. Wow. And you were already a Long Island yeah. legend. But for bad things. For... Creepiness. Well, yeah, you and Joey Buttafuoco, <laughs> and the person whose show I was just on with the fucking gun collection. Jesus Christ, already. 
Oh, he was wonderful. And, uh, a nice yeah. host, right? He's we a had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. So go check it out. The uh, and, uh, Oh, jeez. <laughs> the <laughs> Anthony Cumia Show on AnthonyCumia.com. AnthonyCumia.com. Anyway, uh, going to our little sports stuff. We have this, uh, I don't know if you're watching the Little League World Series. I'm aware. You are aware of it? And are you aware that uh, Monet pitches tonight? Yeah. Yeah, money. I like to call her money. 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 Her name is Monet. It's pronounced Monet. Hey, but she is money. Get she it? is <laughs> money. I was going to say, <laughs> she, um, I don't want this to sound the wrong way whatsoever. She is cute. Uh-oh. No, I'm just How saying. How old is she? Yeah. Yes. She's about either 12 or 13. I think she's 13 because you're, you could still be eligible if your birthday is 12 and then you, you turn, turn 13, 13 during the Willie World Series. So I think she is 13, but still, uh, she kind of has like a female Snoop Dogg uh, look to her. But again, <laughs> I find her a cute girl. Does that mean you find Snoop Dogg attractive? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've always said that. I probably should have chosen a woman to compare her to. I like my women to look like Snoop Dogg <laughs> like or Snoop women, Lion. I like my me. women to be West Coast rappers. Uh, so anyway, Monet is on the hill tonight, and I'm pulling for her against Nevada, Las Vegas. She pitches against the, the just the offensive juggernaut, which is Las Vegas. They scored 25 runs in two games, yo! Woo. They got their own Bash Brothers. They're bad. I don't want to see it, because I, I have to say this, and maybe it's like reverse prejudice, but the Little League teams that, you know, have, uh, are from you know, Texas or, or Alabama or whatnot... This team's from Las Vegas. Is they have the, the, the white kids have the worst. Everyone is Colton or right. Schmickens. What kind of right, what kind <laughs> of kids, Plebo. What kind of kids go on these like they're all these kids are part of travel baseball teams. So they're part of multiple baseball right. teams. So they can play all season so long. So rich kids. All well to do, rich yeah. wa- I'm gonna guess wasps. Just Chandler. You find a lot of Chandlers yeah, out yeah. there. Tad. Tad. Dinkins. I think I saw a Dinkins <laughs> McNulty. They're all just bred like to play. a combination b- of The Wire and the former mayor of New York. <laughs> just bred to play baseball. It's baseball factories. Rich, I don't like it, dude. What, what happened to a name like Michael, Kevin, Chris? Wow, thanks. Sean. Yeah. Roy's always been a little weird. Mm. Roy's kind Eric. of. Eric. Eric's nice. You know? Diddy Mac. Yeah. Diddy Mac. Here comes a little Davy Mac up to That's the That's right. And I explained that I made my Little League World Series, uh, or no, I made my Little League All Star team. And our coach, uh, Dr. L, he was the coach of the team, and he said, Gentlemen, I just bought my tickets to Williamsport because you guys are going all the way. I'm like, first of all, why are you Southern? This is New Jersey. Was it it South Jersey? (laughs) Secondly, we're not going all the way. Why would why wouldn't you have confidence in yourself at that young age? I had confidence in myself. I didn't have confidence in Liam Davis, our starting pitcher. Liam. Just a bit. He was like six foot two by Damn. the time he was twelve, and yet it was like uh, fucking Bull Durham, the beginning scenes of Tim Robbins. He was throwing the ball fifty feet over the goddamn catcher. That's Mascots were getting hit in the head. I call that bad coaching. I mean, the kid wasn't developed right. That's why I question Doctor L right there, Pep. I think Dr. L had a drinking problem. Yeah, he I'm, did. I'm just guessing that. I don't know anything about him. By the way, I just so you know, he died of alcoholism. Uh, so then now, yeah, now how do you feel? I feel like a Nostradamus type. Maybe I have telekinesis because <laughs> I called that. You I, didn't call it. You heard me talk about Dr. L. You made an accurate deducement. Thank you. I think the word is deduction. I think I'm like Thank Profe- you for the stinger, Roy. Like Professor X. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, so I, I'm interested in how I'm actually taping the game. So no these, one spoil it for the Dave, man. These kids are from the heart of Philly. Like they I, lo- I like these kids, and I do like the Chicago kids. Um, so obviously I'm into the urban children for some strange reason. Chano? No, she's, she's 13, you said? I think, uh, I think Monet is 13 now. And she's throwing 70 miles an hour, right? On the cover of Sports Illustrated, throwing 70. I mean, laser Crazy. fastball for the 13-year-old. So, that's, that's like equivalent, they say, of 98 or so, all right, so in the bigs because so it's short amount. So obviously, um, you know, she's got this potential to go to the majors? No. I mean, can a, can a female, no. would well, a female ever break Well, because by high could, school, right. these other kids catch up. will throw just as hard, if not harder, not trying to be sexist, well, but no, women develop earlier, like younger. Exactly, women do uh, develop earlier, and, and, and those and, hormones up in them. Mm. You know, I, I could see a woman breaking in the major leagues as a, like a, a lefty bullpen. You know, her? yeah, like one of those guys who throws 82 miles an hour hey. has one bad, has David Ortiz. You have them on your pitching staff to face David Ortiz in the playoffs, and then you take him out of the game immediately 
Maybe Monet. But see, she's a righty, so we'd have to convert her to being a left hand. I don't know if we could do that. I'm a lefty specialist, and That's I play right. for the Milwaukee Brewers. That, that, that female voice is hot. <laughs> right? <laughs> Sounds just like a chick, too. It's call me smokes up. way too much and lives in Astoria. <laughs> it's Peppa. <laughs> hey, coach, call me up. Peppa Pig. <laughs> oh, come on. No, Give I'm me. not taking any. That, that's a character. It's a female. I it's know a female, exactly who it is. Female cartoon in America. She has a British accent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so this woman's British now. <laughs> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> Stupid show. I blatantly tell my children these days, bad show, good show. Hey, Phineas and Ferb, you know what? I'm fine with. SpongeBob, totally fine with. I think it's like a modern day Bugs Bunny. Mm-hmm. Fucking uh, the Franklin the Turtle? Fuck him. <laughs> Dora? Fuck you. <laughs> If I have to hear map tree, stop it. You know, they're making a uh, like a tween version of Dora. Well, that's going to be awesome. Mm-hmm. Check it out. Because dude. teenagers need to know where the map is yeah. and the, the forbidden forest. And that I actually got sexy. I got my kids. <laughs> I, it, it is. I got my kids confused the other day. She goes, uh, and now for our four locations. Remember this stream, mountain, woods, forest. And I'm like, woods and forest are the same fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, if she said like forest and jungle, that would be different. No, she said woods and forest. That's and like, I, I'm like, well, I wouldn't know where to go, children. You're on your own on this one. I guess drown the Don't stream. Die. <laughs> oh, golly. So anyway, we're having a good time. And uh, Monday Night Football, uh, pre- <laughs> fucking Gruden was brutal on those guys. Did you watch? I'm yes. I'm God, God, sons and vodka. I'm so happy that I, I forgot how great Gruden is. Yeah, Gruden I is how good it he's is. He's the best. He's better than Sims, and, and I'm a Giants fan mm. and a Phil Sims fan. But Gruden is a guy who I I always value an announcer like this. Would you tune in a bad game? Because of the announcing crew. I, wa- I would. I watched plenty of Monday Night Football games last year, and there weren't very many good ones because of Gruden. That's my point I exactly. I want to see what crazy thing he says. Or I want to see a Gruden grinder. I want to see Gruden call Peyton Manning the sheriff for <laughs> 30 minutes, and, and he's the only one in the world who calls this guy. He thinks this nickname is going to uh, catch on. It's coming on with us. Oh, the sheriff. Here comes the sheriff number 18. I like to call him the sheriff. No. Everyone calls him the sheriff. Don't you know about number 18? The, sh- the sheriff got rid of the bullets in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Sheriff looks good in preseason, but sheriff, you know, preseason no, no, don't count. No, the sheriff looks great in preseason. He's going to look amazing during the season, and then he's going to choke like a loser in the playoffs and our Super Bowl. I'm, we know we what's jo- going to happen. I am joining uh, my fantasy football league on ESPN as I do every single year. Nice. I finish in last place usually out of 10 teams in my league. See, I know why. Yes. Because you draft all New York Giants. I do. In, in fact, I just drafted David Wilson. <laughs> oh, I believe he just retired at the age of 23. He's aiming for the Olympics now. Because of possible paralysis. Did he say that? Yeah, he's, going, he's trying out for the Olympics now. <laughs> that's, that's his next move, he says. That's awesome. Um, so you would steer clear of uh, Peyton Manning on fantasy, or you go in for Peyton because regular season, it's all about the yeah, numbers. Yeah, I mean, look, in fantasy football, who cares about wins or losses? You, you want a team down so they could, in, in your quarterback, to just throw it up. Okay. All right, so all right, let's 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 wait for a second on the fantasy football because I do want to say that Gruden, Brian Hoyer, the first snap of the game, there's a sort of a weird exchange between the center and him, himself, the quarterback of the Browns, and uh, Gruden goes, "Well, that's about the worst way I've seen a team start a preseason game <laughs> in about ten years." And then in their very next play, Hoyer gets sacked, yeah, and he's like, "This is UGLY." That uh, God sons and Maka. Gruden is off the charts. And, so, and I do you think it's just a Johnny Manziel thing? He is a part of maybe an NFL wide conspiracy to get Manziel in there? Uh, of course he is. It's the same thing that happened with Tebow, where everyone's it was there was a mandate say mention Tebow as much as possible. Giant football's getting the same exact treat. So this poor Brian Hoyer, like it's not his fault. He literally there was no one blocking for him in the first two possessions of the game. No one. He was destroyed. He was killed by these guys. They want football in, as in Johnny. Would you start Johnny right away? Because the Browns came out today and said, we're going with Hoyer, yeah. and Manziel's going to start the season off the bench as Hoyer's backup. Would you start Johnny Manziel I, today? Initially, I thought, yeah. And I thought he was going to win. The, the, the <laughs> He was going to take it. He was yeah. going to be the starter. Yeah. But after the middle, the throwing up the middle finger and... I love him even more, is what I was going to say. 
Go against the system, Johnny. This is why I want Johnny Cleveland. Stay and yes, I'm changing his name from Johnny Football to Johnny Cleveland. I want him starting game, game one. This is a poor decision well, by the Browns. Who, who do you give the finger to? To the, uh, the Redskins the, bench. The opposition. Yeah, the Redskins bench. Oh, they he... were talking smack to him, they, I think, and he I, put up the finger. I believe what really pissed them off, they said, they said this, isn't, um, this isn't college. This, is this isn't Texas A&M, yo. I mean, he played in the SEC, <laughs> for Christ's sakes. It's a hard goddamn conference. Yeah, but it's not the NFL. Well, it isn't the NFL. But guess what, douchebags? All of you players played in college, too, at one point, and you were all rookies. So, you know, come on. Let's relax with Johnny Football. Well, even if Johnny Football did start, or you know, whatever, Hoyer, there's no one to throw to on the Cleveland Browns. I mean, uh, no. Gordon. Uh, well, Josh Gordon, he's playing in the preseason games because they're taking months to actually lay down how many games he's going to be suspended. He was suspended for drugs? Uh, marijuana. He marijuana. tested positive. It was, and it was apparently, from what I read, when they, t they drug tested in the NFL, <laughs> they... They go, they'll have two urine samples. Roy Schaaf does not like pot. <laughs> no, he, he, gave, he gave Johnny Man, uh, he gave uh, Gordon a, a difficult stinger. One urine sample actually came up clean. The other urine sample came up slightly positive for marijuana. So it, sounds it, like Davy Mac urine dog. <laughs> so they're throwing out get your stuff straight. They're throwing out there that it was secondhand marijuana smoke and that you know that's, a, that's, that's exactly what I said yeah. to my probation officer. So on Roto World, <laughs> this guy's just like me. They get fancy updates. They said this is this is from Roto World. They're either going to be zero game suspension or 16 game suspension. <laughs> wow. You're either not getting suspended at all or, or the for season. the season. Yeah. Regardless, draft Josh Gordon. No. Draft Whoa. No. He's going to go late. He's going to go late, late, late rounds. Just take him. Pick him up. Keep him on your bench. If he gets if he's suspended for the entire season, dump him. If he's there, then you have a number one wide receiver. He was behind Megatron last year. Picks are picks in fantasy football. Yeah, you don't get late. a lot of them. You think you have more than you do. As a person who's finished in last yeah, place yeah. several years in a row, <laughs> I always feel like I've got my team, and, and yet uh, I, am, I always have a thin bench. You're saying I waste... Or perhaps uh, get lucky with a pick on Josh Gordon. Is that what Chris Pepper, uh, a, a fancy master of football, they, Stanley is saying right now? They call certain picks lottery picks when you're just taking a long shot on a guy. This is the ultimate lottery pick. I mean, literally, you could have a number one player in the 10th round because who's going to go after Jordan? I would, I would go after Josh Gordon immediately. You would? Yeah. Okay. Why not? If, if you're drafting give me before like, it comes uh, down. Give me a sl now, here's my sleeper every year. And you're right. It's Eli Manning. I'm not even going <laughs> to pause for drama. We did a song about him years ago, and uh, I feel like I, we, uh, I owe it to him as a representative of the Davy Mac Sports Program, you know, the Forget Tom Brady song on YouTube. So I still have Eli usually as my starter, and he's always horrific. How, how old is Dabney Coleman now? Yeah, Dabney Coleman, <laughs> 83. Two. <laughs> okay. Eight, two. Take out. Take out. All right. Let's talk about the Giants. Take out. <laughs> take out wins or losses of the actual team. Yeah. Do you think any player, position player on that team, has any chance of putting up any real numbers? Like even Victor Cruz. Not right? an offensive player. I mean, you mentioned Victor Cruz. He you hasn't know, had one catch. Eli doesn't know what he's doing out there. No, dude, I said it before, and I'll say it again. You literally are taking the one by. Putting Eli in the West Coast offense, which, which is an offense that is designed for quick, short passes. Slants, ins and outs, sidelines, this and that, little handoffs here and there. Okay? That's not how he plays. He is a guy, he is best throwing 35 yards or over. Look at the two Super Bowls with the throws yes. to Tyree and Manningham. That's because he's played in the same system his entire career. But it's also, it, it, no, but it also shows you Eli is a gunslinger. And he's more of a guy who, who is a big time threat than he he he's not accurate. Twelve <laughs> yards down the field, he's more accurate forty yards than twelve yards. I don't know how that's possible, but if you watch Giants football, you would know it to be true. So this this West Coast offense has got me frightened as hell. It's freak. I think you should have every Giants fan freaked out because Victor Cruz is a guy that's going to catch a deep ball. Yeah, and you know this is a weak division. The Giants could win. You know, anyone can win nine and seven. I don't think the Giants are getting there this year. I really don't. I think you'll see a seven and nine, a six and ten, and Coughlin will finally be out. The only team worth drafting anyone off of, like in that first or second round, would have to be off the Eagles. I mean, LaShawn McCoy. LaShawn Jackson. Right? LaShawn McCoy. Oh, oh McCoy. Uh, yeah, LaShawn Jackson's on Jackson's Redskins. Jackson's on Redskins now. Yeah, even Excuse me, Washington. I am standing with Phil really? Sims. 
and Tony Dungy, and I'm making the announcement right now, Whoa. right here. Because of racial sensitivity, I will no longer be saying Redskins. Okay? I've never, Thank I you. never thought I would see this coming. Yeah, you did. Well, what do you think of RG3? I mean, I, he- You know what? And furthermore, I'm going to make another decision right here. Okay. Offensive to wildlife, no longer am I calling them the Chicago Cubs. Just the team from Chicago. Okay? That's going to make a lot of baby bears happy. I am making that announcement right here, right now on the show. Okay? Well, that's not going to help things. That doesn't help at all. Guys. That doesn't help the things that we were just talking about. No. But... <laughs> Short O'Barry, baby. I love you. Um... So you're telling me, uh, I mean, what, <laughs> same guys every year? Larry Fitzgerald, Megatron, these are the same guys? Not uh, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry Fitzgerald is, is miserable. Done. Uh, He's every, done, man. People are higher on the, on the other wide receiver on the Cardinals, Michael Floyd. Because because he's every corner is going to be on Larry Fitzgerald like it's been for the last few years. And Michael Floyd's going to eat up anything from, uh, from the Arizona quarterback. <laughs> well, Pepe, who is the quarterback that people should go with if they have a number one pick? Peyton... Rodgers, Brady. First of all, if you have number one pick, you're going either you're going either Lashawn McCoy or no. no, no. Oh, oh, you're, you're, you're not going. going. Running back. I, I'm saying a, a number one quarterback. Pick. Oh, a number one okay. quarterback. It's yeah. between Breeze and Peyton Manning, easily. Breeze and Peyton Manning. Breeze and Peyton Manning. No, Aaron Rodgers. No, I mean Aaron Rodgers will be third. Don't you think Aaron Rodgers is going to have a bounce back year this year? <sighs> that's that's the one reason why. See, what I usually find watching a ton of football is. You lose a Super Bowl, you have the Super Bowl loss hangover. Hell, you you win a Super Bowl. A lot of times, you're not as good as the year before. Payne's, to me, going to have that this year. He had a record-breaking season. He has to no, come down. He literally had the best Rodgers season come of up. quarterbacks ever yeah, had. He's had the best statistical season last year. <laughs> and ever. And yeah, ever. And the best fantasy football season ever. <laughs> so the point is... He has to come down. I think Rodgers bounces back up. I would take Rodgers over Peyton. I know. I know. Yeah, Roy. Can't say hi forever, baby. <laughs> what? I don't know See, what. The, oh, <laughs> you're talking crazy. I think he just said something in See, German. The one thing I'm <laughs> worried... He can't stay high forever, baby. <laughs> the one thing I'm worried about with Rodgers is now he has Eddie Lacy, who is like a, a top five pick. And they now have a like strong run game in Green Bay. Yeah. So he can, be, he can hand off and they and it, it's a legitimate running back. And he's the only running back on that team. What uh, defense would you choose if you had to go with the defense right now for fantasy football? Ooh, look, it's the Seattle Seahawks. The Seattle Seahawks. Still are the Seahawks? Dominate. Yes. And if you're in a league that gives major points for defenses, you've got to pick up the Seahawks. Now, we just uh, crapped all over Johnny Manziel and the Cleveland Browns. The one thing that I noticed about that defense was, whoa. Yes. I mean, they made RG3 look like a child out yeah, there. And that guy has to learn to slide. He's not, dude. He's not. Go get Derek Jeter and pay him $10 million to hang out with the football team from Washington for one day. Okay? I would pay Derek Jeter $10 million and say, Derek, teach RG3 how to slide, for Christ's sakes, before this nitwit... Ruins his knee again. I listen. I'm a Giants fan. I don't want to see RG3 have a ruined knee. He's better. He's good for the league. That division's so terrible. It's just it's just a war zone of awfulness. The the name of them is the Washington uh, Football Team, Sean. Okay, I don't know what kind of song you're just doing right there. Just, uh, native, uh, good tribal. If they were the Washington Native Tribals, I would say their name <laughs> on the air. But I stand with Phil Sims and Tony Dungy. Sick of it. They're the Redskins, dude. That's the name of the team. No, they're not. It's offensive. What about the Cleveland Browns? My people have been taking ads out for them. My people have been, you know, were persecuted because Wait, of this name. The Cleveland Browns defense is going to be around in in, uh, in drafts. So pick pick if you're if you have a layer draft, and you're waiting to the end to uh, take a defense, which you should do. Pick up the Browns. Their secondary is ridiculous. You never waste an early pick on a defense no, unless insane. you really don't know what you're doing, or you're playing by Davy Mack rules, or you're blind and you want to finish in last. Oh well, yeah, the Giants that, defense. That's playing by Davy Mack rules. Giants blind junk. <laughs> all, of it, all of it. Um, what else is going on? So uh, you watch that game. So there are also uh, a bunch of uh, little uh, baseball storylines going on right now. And, and it's kind of weird. Uh, they named the commissioner in Major League Baseball. Bud Selig will be stepping down. And as he's stepping down, he's like throwing little shots here and there. He threw a shot at Oakland saying that team needs a ballpark badly. And uh, if they don't get one, they should move. Well, Bud, where were you for the last 20 years? Good one, Bud. You could have done that as a commissioner. You could have said, hey, guess what, Oakland? Leave. Put pressure on the city to give you a new stadium. Mm -hmm. 
can't say it like, you know, now, bud. Excuse yeah. me, bud. Bud, what kind of name is that? Isn't Celix Lackey? It's a rusky name, Sean. Getting, uh, getting coming, coming into it? Is yeah. It into Manfred or something Manfred, like that. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah Manfred. Yeah, that guy's a little uh, suck up. Sean O has video of this. Bob Costas, he was throwing out uh, his first pitch in St. Louis. Obviously, he's a Midwest St. Louis Cardinals uh, guy his whole life. Again, AJ Pruszynski, uh, getting ready they to had uh, to catch the Costas first pitch. out there. <laughs> and uh, Bob looked a little bit coked up to me, Peppy Ham. Jesus, you can't just oh, yeah. say that. He looked it. I didn't say he was. Oh, wow. He was really jacked up in the eyes. Watch this. Watch how serious he's grinding his teeth. He's grinding his teeth. A powder. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say he's on Adderall. <laughs> he's hitting his nose a lot. He's got the Chris Pepper Stanley nose. Twitch. Wait a minute. He's breaking out a key. He's doing key bumps on the map. <laughs> right, too much, Bob. Dave, you were right. Yeah. I'm sorry, I said that. Oh wait, now he's talking about kibble and Bad Lieutenant Portal Prince. Bob Key Bump Costas. Come on, Bob. Why? So his first pitch was wide, and he did something you can never do. Look, he's yelling at the catcher, give me another one. Oh, come on. You can't do that, Bob. That's a second pitch. That's a second pitch, dude. That's a Coke talking. <laughs> sounds, like he's got his own, sounds like he's got his own little Roy Shaper over there, too, huh? Yeah. He's got keyboards and everything. Bob Costas, the first All right, that's it, Sean. Thank you. Bob Costas, you think, America's fraud. Do you think a man who loves baseball as much as he does, and he, he loves know it. the tradition of the game. He should know you have one pitch. Fitty Cent wasn't able to do a second pitch. Bob Bob Boy wasn't able to do a second pitch. The goddamn model from Texas who tried a Jeff Bridges bowling thing, which was cool and funny. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. There was a, a model from Texas, though, who did the bowling thing. Yeah. And it went like way sideways, and I think it hit a baby in the face. Mm -hmm. She thought she was funny doing it, but she didn't get it to the catcher. I thought she was very funny doing she it. She didn't get a second pitch either. I'm sorry, Bob. Apparently, you're bigger than the game, huh? Everything you spoke about, you're bigger than the sport. Sean O'Barry, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, he's a shitbag. <laughs> <laughs> but how can a guy who loves baseball so much not be able to throw a ball to just throw an opening pitch out? It's a qu He said he was a second baseman in high school, not used to the mound. Wow. Uh, and the only reason why I know this is because... Uh, I was uh, watching High Heat with Chris Mad Dog on Saturday nice, on the nice. MLB Network. And uh, he's going, they, they show him the clip, and he's going, Whoa, 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 what is that? You can, whoa, and oh, and now a second pitch, Bob? And then Costas called in, and he completely reversed himself. And he goes, Bob, you looked like a great athlete out oh there. That's you great. looked like you knew what you were doing. It was fantastic. I was like, Who are you, Bobby Heenan? We just heard you criticizing the pitch a I second love it. ago. Costas calls in, Mr. MLB Network essentially shuts down Mad Dog in five seconds just by calling in. What, what was he saying? Was that, he, that's was he, was that's how I knew he, he was the second baseman in high school because oh, I was watching was, high oh, heat. Okay, yeah. Yeah. At least he had some experience. Most people go out there with no <gasps> baseball experience. That's right. Roy Schaaf. Yeah, can you match me up on that, man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have any baseball experience? Did you play Little League? I played Little League, yeah. I you think, did? I, I think actually when I was a little... I, I think now I could throw a 70-mile-an-hour fastball. <laughs> Not. Yeah, but I want to set that I, up somehow in Times Square. I did it yeah. in the, in the county, county Maybe, fair. All right, for the World Series, we're setting up Roy throwing a baseball at a goddamn radar gun. Yeah, yeah I can do, there, there's I, no way you get it above 58. I can oh, do that is 70. an absolute prediction. Oh, I can do 86. Totally, no way. You there? First of all, if you can do 86 miles an hour, yeah. why aren't you on the Yankees now? I got a job. B. There's no way. Forget about 86. 86 is silly. 70. You Seriously, can't do 70. I just, I just did it. You can't. Okay. All right. <laughs> Where were you pitching from? from? Was it a little league mound or was it a major league baseball mound? Two very big differences in distance. No, it was uh, it was like a little circle about twenty feet away. That's just he's just describing a pitcher's mound. <laughs> Could be anything. No, Could be on the moon a, for all a, we know. It was at the fair. It was like a, they had a. Oh, radar at the gun. fair! Great, thanks, the natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was the whammer there too? Yeah. You <laughs> strike him out. And then I hit the thing, and the guy fell into the water and everything. All right, please. <laughs> this is. Let's just go to our live read. We do have sponsors. Out. We need you to buy from our sponsors. We need you to click on our sponsors. And this is really one of the best sponsors out there. This is LegalZoom.com. Uh, most Americans don't have a will. Why? You don't want the court dictating what happens to your property and minor children. Why procrastinate, Pepper? Well, most people say too expensive or too uh, time-consuming. Right? Our answer? 
LegalZoom.com. Oh. Too expensive? LegalZoom prices just make sense. Too time-consuming? It takes just 20 minutes, and LegalZoom guides you through from start to finish. The service was developed by some of the best legal minds in the country, and they make it painless for you to get the legal help you need. In fact, helping people get legally protected has been their mission and passion for over 13 years. During National Make-A-Will Month, get special pricing on wills and living trusts by entering the special code MAC. M-A-C in the referral box at checkout. It's National Make-A-Will Month, so don't wait any longer. Protect your family, protect your future at LegalZoom.com today. LegalZoom was developed by top attorneys to provide self-help services at your specific direction, but they're not a law firm. Legal help is furnished through vetted independent attorneys. LegalZoom! All right. Scott Farrell, shake it up. Hi! All right. Um, so I'm just down on Bob Costas these days. You know, I'm literally down on him. Like I look down on him because he's oh, like I, a hobbit. I he's like he's like, very small. I think you went down. On him. I did. I, I sucked his dick. <laughs> <laughs> that shot. <laughs> um, really? <laughs> <laughs> you sucked his dick. I did. Suck Bob Costas off, bro. <laughs> Keep it quiet, all right? Oh. We, I know we do the show from Times Square, and people are having a good time, and everyone's drunk and shit, but I sucked the cum <laughs> so hard oh, out God. of his dick. It felt like a nuclear missile of jizz was shooting in the back of my throat. It felt like goddamn Indiana Jones Part 4, where him and that Rusky were on that little fucking mm. nuclear bomb, yeah. and there was just, oh. <laughs> and I gurgled, too, baby. I gurgled and showed. You ever watch a porn where oh, a girl goes yeah. like, and she shows off the jizz yeah. in her mouth like to the camera, the and then she goes, okay, now it's going down the gullet. Yeah. Oh. That's my favorite part is what I was going to say. Oh. <laughs> so it's, it's authentic. You know the jizz is there. No, seriously. I've been looking up porns where girls just ki- kiss with cum all uh. over their mouth. Snowball each other. <laughs> is that what that's called? You like snowballing. I didn't know I like snowballing, but apparently I do. I thought snowballing was when the girl, because clerks said the girl kisses the dude, she just yeah. sucked off. Yeah, but a girl could suck, an, uh, suck could, could kiss another girl, she could snowball on the girl if she's a loading. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. There you it, go. So it's really about the transaction of come from lips to lips to come. Is it what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now I know. Uh, what else is going on in the world of sports? Plenty of stuff. Well, for crying out loud. Did you see? So, are you? Have you done the ice bucket challenge yet, Pepper? Yeah, I did about four or five times. <laughs> but I, I don't nominate anyone. No, I, I, I just keep nominating myself. I feel like you're lying. <laughs> I feel like you're lying, dude. You know, I'm not. It's all over YouTube. Well, I want to see your video then. Sh- uh, tell Sean the, uh, the, the the link on YouTube, mm-hmm. and we'll look it up. Ujiz.com. That's just a link for Ujiz, my favorite right. porn site on the internet. Ujiz.com. Over sixty-two thousand videos. For your porn disgusting masturbatory problems. That's right, Uges.com. They owe us money now, as far as I'm concerned. I know they weren't an actual sponsor, but that's a live read, as far as I'm concerned. We're never going to see it. Uges, you owe us $3,000, Rob Sprantz charges these people. You know, we should uh, try to get something through Pornhub. They're the, they're the ones throwing all the money around. They are? Yeah. Not Uges? With a red tube. Pornhub is the one that was the one that goes. There's a couple what? videos. Peppers, are you the hot blonde who shows us how to fuck or the nice teen swallow? Nice teen swallow. He's got to be. Yeah, video? I was going to say nice teen swallow. Oh, yeah. Has to be. Oh, yeah, there he is. That's him, all right. <laughs> With big fake titties <laughs> and dyed blonde hair. She is not no, a, that's a woman. That is not a teen. <laughs> <laughs> that's the oldest teenager <laughs> of 40, all time. 45 year old. She's had a rough That was one. like the last season of Brady Bunch, and they were trying to pass off Peter Brady as like 18. <laughs> yeah. They're like, this guy is 50. He's 50, bro. Um, Hawk Harrelson, the White Sox announcer that annoys me because he does ego. Every, th- every I like, I like time you someone strikes out, though. Every, so, f- so, so if a White Sox pitcher strikes out a guy, you know, say 15 games, you know, f- has 15 Ks in the game, you will hear 15 times Hawk Harrelson. Ego. Yeah, it's great. I think it's funny. How about, oh, mercy, when someone hits a home run? I like that, too. I, this hate, guy's got character. I hate, oh, mercy. He sounds like a California raisin, for Christ's sakes, with the oh, mercy already. Stop it. <laughs> well, I heard it through the grapevine. Lama gonna be mine. 
Remember their <laughs> claymation yeah. Christmas special? Yeah. yeah, man. It's weird how popular that <laughs> the was. A commercial was. Yeah. <laughs> we a honey year and a huge and we snowball each other. Dave and Pepper snowball each other. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, no we don't. Mother! <laughs> don't you tell me not to hit my way. Don't you tell me not to boom my say. Don't you let everyone around down with me. I go to hallelujah. Yeah, that's a Denzel California Raisin <laughs> mashup. Well Eric, I hope you captured that on video. <laughs> we just made the first ever Danzig California Raisin mashup in the history of music. Thank you very much, David Mack. The, the, the Temptations, right? Yep. Temptations, yeah. I still think of that song a little bit as like a Creedence song. Creedence, me too. You Please. know? Yep. Yeah. What's your favorite Creedence song, Roy? Because uh, you used to have an intern here. Yeah. Which, you and Sean at Skinny Man here he was, uh, in the Heart of Times Square. That was Alex. Alex, was Alex Cook. Alex Cook. His he was dad. the son of uh, the bass player to Creedence. And, and wasn't the bass player a Fogarty? Uh, wasn't he? Oh, he uh, wasn't? He no, wasn't? No, no, no. Okay, because, I mean, he had, there were brothers in the band. Oh, you know, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. John's oh, brother was in the band. His last name was Cook. His, oh. yeah, his, his last, last name was Cook. There yeah. you go. John Fogarty's brother was definitely in the band. I think his name is Tom Fogarty, in fact. Tom Fogarty. I think so. Um, so what's your what's the best uh, Creedence song? I'm gonna go with "Unfortunate Son." Oh man, that's a good "Unfortunate one. Son." Oh, no, that's your... <laughs> he doesn't know the lyrics. That's okay. He's had a hard day, you know. Some guy drove from Long Island uh, in, in under f- twelve minutes. Wow. Yeah, that guy was me, baby. Whoa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Impressive, right. Impressive. Impressive. I ain't no unfortunate son. <laughs> it ain't me. Well, it's me. I ain't the. Yes, I am the billionaire son. <laughs> <laughs> I am the unfortunate son. <laughs> My dad's a senator. My mom's a millionaire. She invented white out. <laughs> she invented white out. A uh, old uh, shout out to our buddy. Member of the Monkeys, Mike Nesmith. Mike Nesmith, that's Who's right. mom, who's been on our show 13 times. Yeah. Over. <laughs> Invented Whiteout. All right, I just lie. Yeah. I don't want to confuse anyone because I feel like there might be a monkey fan yeah. out there. And be like, I have to download the Mike Nesmith episodes. <laughs> yeah, you just confused me. We never had Mike Nesmith on, but I would love to have Mike Nesmith and his little wool. Only if he wore the wool hat. Wool, wool cap. You know? Yeah, he needs the cap. Davy Jones is dead, right? Isn't Davy Jones dead? He got shot. He did? In Ferguson. Oh, my God. Weird, right? He shouldn't have gone there. Did you hear what John Calipari said? He was looting. <laughs> he says um, he would still have taken the Kentucky... You know, there was rumors, strong rumors, that Calipari was heading to Cleveland. And specifically, he has a very good, tight relationship with LeBron. They have yeah. the same agent, and they're very into each other, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Not like, you know... Yeah, the way just, you just put that is yeah. real weird. They have a tight, like, <laughs> body, you know, like it's a sex. Tight. Like, Le- they have sex with each other. LeBron <laughs> likes to be with his friends. Right. Oh. And... Um, yeah. That is true, though, by the way, what you just said. And uh, so he was rumored for a while to take over the job in Cleveland. He returned to Kentucky, got a lot of money. Then LeBron ends up heading to Cleveland. So someone just asked him, you know, would you still return to Kentucky now knowing that LeBron's heading to Cleveland? You could have had that job. Calipari said, I would still be in Kentucky. Whoa. I got the job. That's a direct quote. Wow. I got the the all caps lock the job he doesn't realize that college basketball is not the highest level of the sport right yeah but it's very corrupt so maybe he likes that (laughs) part of it the point being that can't possibly be the job if you can't win at the highest level or am i wrong about that would you take kentucky over the the lebron and cleveland job i would take the lebron and cleveland job and then i would burn down every college <laughs> you don't like college sports for some reason you do uh, know our best athletes come from college except for lebron Pe- of Pepper, course pepper doesn't like <laughs> mike higher. trout kobe <laughs> no, rory mcelroy pepper doesn't like higher education tiger no. oh, tiger played for stanford how many uh, championships do you think uh, alex bolter is going to take now that lebron's got <laughs> five or six yeah uh, I, I'm, I'm, it's going to be, uh, I mean, now that the Cavs also got Kevin Love and Kyrie Irving, forget it. It's on forget now. Forget it. I, I mean, listen, we talked Spurs about last week. We talked about last week, so I won't go, go into it, but I can't see them. I'm being serious. Winning the Eastern Conference, at least. Five years in a row. And you figure if LeBron gets three of those, 
He's going to have five championships. He's going to come close to what we were all f- expecting of this guy. Yeah, but five but championships is magic level. He should have won those first two, though. The first and the third. No. One. The first one when, when first he was on the Cavs? No, 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 excuse me. No, with, the, with the Heat, I mean. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, the, yeah, first one gets the Mavericks. Yeah. What really screwed them up. You look back on it now, that was their three-peat. That was their chance. They had a two-game-to-one lead and a ten-point lead in the fourth, and Dirk Nowitzki went unconscious. That's, what, that's why sports is great right there. God, yeah, who who would have thought Nowitzki? That was a tremendous... Boy, oh, boy. Well, LeBron's been involved in two really great ones. That one and uh, the, the one where they beat the Spurs. Yeah, the first Spurs. The that heat. was a great series. This, God, this, this last series was terrible. And the series they where... They were blowouts. All blowouts. Yeah. Besides and, the second game. And, and the series where they beat the Thunder was not great. I expected a lot of the Thunder, and they beat oh, the Thunder yeah, in five. five. Not great. Ta-da! Charge! Shano? Yo! Your favorite baseball team is who? The Yankees. And do you know who closes for them? Uh, David Robertson, right? David, yeah, now. He's your favorite player? Uh, no, he's not. And did you see what happened to him last night? Oh, my God. I didn't see it. Two it's walks and a three-run home run to the Astros when the Yankees are in a position, and they've put themselves there right. with weird trades, not signing the right guys. Mm-hmm. They've put themselves there, and they need to win now. They're and not. they need to sweep teams like the Astros. They're not, dude. They, they can't be like, we could take two out of three they're of the bad. Houston Astros. Dude, the Yankees are a bad team. You think they're an absolutely bad team? They're a bad team. This was a team we were just talking about. Yes. That went as, on a run. As soon as we said these guys are doing something <laughs> together, they have fallen apart completely. Oh, that's true. We and are, literally. We, we do jinx the hell out of teams. As yep. soon as we said, this is great. It's, it was over for them. Only person we've never jinxed on this show. He's still having a great life, great career. Is Robin Williams, and I just want to say a shout out to oh, you, Rob. St- and come on. Um, come on, dude. You didn't hear? Ohio State's uh, Braxton Miller. He was the two-time MVP of the Big Ten. He's out Good. for uh, the season. Just drops back, and now this is a case, and you might uh, find this uh, interesting, Peppy, because you hate college sports. This is the case where a kid tried to do the right thing. He was ready to come out his, his uh, junior year, last year. And the coach, Urban Meyer, says, listen, this year Ohio State's going to be eligible to win a championship. It's been under playing under probation, not bowl eligible. Mm-hmm. This year you can get a chance. Come back senior year. Come back senior year. Win a championship. He lured this poor bastard into coming back. And now his shoulder is fucked up. Yeah, it's terrible. Dude. This could be a problem. Could be. It is a problem. It's really bad. You just put a picture it's of uh, the uh, the little girl from Philly up, Monet Davis. You're Sign. telling me you wouldn't, you know, sign those balls. You wouldn't at least look at her in five years. Let's not talk in five like years. that. In six years. Let's not talk like that. Okay. Try to avoid just pedophilia. Six right? years. I'll just say it out loud. Did I, did I said six years, didn't I, Roy? You said six. Yeah. Thanks, pal. Yeah. You're always there for me. You know, it's really sad. Nick Swisher four. just got uh, surgery on both his knees. Watch out! Wait, wait, watch on. You only got to wait four. <laughs> Seventeen in New York, right? Oh, it is it is? Well, it's Philly though. I gotta go down to Philly from uh, Jersey. I don't know what the rules are. Either. I don't know. It's, it's fucking no holds barred down there. <laughs> go whatever. <laughs> Nick Swisher, former Yankee, former owner of Awesome Sideburns, Uh-oh. former Ozzo. He didn't he do a a a rock album like that was like called oh, yeah, he did. Inspire or yeah. uh, you know like for the kids. positive attitude. Yeah. Smiling it's all about being positive, bro. <laughs> it's hard to be positive, Nick, when you were one for 90 in the playoffs for the Yankees. Yeah. Did right? Play. I mean, he was a bad postseason player for the Yankees, and that's the only Nick Swisher I remember. I don't remember sideburns, positivity, and then any of this. What yeah, happened? Walk. What happened to Mr. Positive? The uh, surgery on both his knees. Both knees? Yeah, it's bad. Hey, nice signing, Cleveland. Yeah, they owe fifteen million over the next two <laughs> seasons. I wonder wow. why the Indians haven't oh by the way, I won't be referring to them as Indians. I will be referring to them as Redskins, which is gonna confuse everyone. They're they're from now on the Cleveland Redskins. Because I find Indians to be offensive. I find the logo to be offensive. Um so they gave, uh, you know why? So, did you know that this country is doing another Mount Rushmore to Crazy Horse? Finally. And it's in South Dakota. This is for real. It's Wait, in what? South no, Dakota. You're, you're talking I'm crazy. being dead serious. And it's been going on since 1948. Wait, the malt liquor? The fucking Native American general who was a brilliant 
wartime general, Sean huh. Elberry. I have that crazy crazy horse. Years. Crazy horse. There is a thing that's huge. He's going to be riding his horse. They said that the nostril, just one nostril of, yeah. of the horse that he's riding, <laughs> can fit <laughs> up to ten cars in it. <laughs> wow! It's going to dwarf Mount Rushmore. It's going to be the largest man monument in the world. And it's been going on in our country since 1948. And yet, look this I, up. I, 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 I need swear a... to God, right. I just learned about this myself because guess what? I read. All right, what, who, who, what's, what is it? Of? Crazy Horse right. yeah. National Malt Monument, liquor. South Dakota. This I Stay see. away from Charnel's fucking malt liquor. We, yes, so we all drink Crazy yeah. Horse at college. No, so it's called Crazy Stallion now. I, I, there joking. you go, Crazy Horse mm-hmm. Memorial. Look, you can see it's halfway done, dudes. Now the horse isn't done. Dudes. Dudes. <laughs> See? <laughs> See, that's going to be the horse right there. See? It's going to be gigantic. Show, show it to Roy. He doesn't believe me. Do I not, just come over here, Roy. Okay. You can't turn the screen, so Roy has to, you no, know. No, it's not the screen. It's the whole computer. I don't see anything. What do you mean you don't see anything? There's a don't thousand Google images. Don't yell my fucking face. Uh, yeah. oh, that's a mighty big Indian, huh? Uh, <laughs> Native American. It's a crazy horse. It's tribal. It's a monument. It's pretty awesome. It's fucking Actually, awesome. Actually, they shouldn't even finish it. This thing looks like a crazy American it's sphinx right now. <laughs> I, I, uh, it's going to be the our American goddamn sphinx, our American pyramid. It's going to, I mean, this forget is, about George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. Yeah. I want to see Crazy Horse. It's just showing that we're, we're destined to crumble. There's going to be a weird Why? giant Indian... Statue. Jesus, this okay. is what the Amongst civilizations the are going to find. Yeah. When they, when it's we're actually frightening. Out. I'm looking at it like a close-up of the face. It's frightening. Yeah. The, the there's, no, the there's no soul in the eyes, and yeah. so you have those dead eyes that <laughs> makes them look really <laughs> scary. It's not good. It's, he's got the shark eyes. I agree with you on that. They should just get Davy Mac up there. I'll get a little Sharpie. I'll draw in some circles if they need me to do that. Got to get some fucking pupils in there. I agree yeah, with you paint on that it up. One. Even if it's like a little orphan Annie, just some black spots yeah, right. on the goddamn, you know, eyeballs. Or an eye patch. It's like he's looking through me. He didn't wear an eye patch. We would have to carve the eye patch. Black like a doll's eyes. This thing's been going on since 48, and yet I just learned about it now. They've made terrible progress. Seriously. Yeah, seriously. I think they, you think they'd be further along, right? We, we got Mount Rushmore done in probably two weeks compared to this thing. This is worse than the Freedom Tower. I mean, this is really bad. Oof. Bet you there's a union Pepper. involved. Mm-hmm. Why do you say that? I'm a, I'm a part of a union. I'm a part of the Writers Guild. Yep. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Sorry, Dave. I, I retract my statement. <laughs> I'll, I'll fucking unionize your ass right now, my friend. <laughs> we in the Writers Guild, we don't take your crap. And I do believe the Writers Guild gave you a couple screeners That's last right, Oscar did. season for a few Watchers episodes. Right. Hats off to the Writers Guild. Thank you. Because of, uh, of course, um, my great writing on the Merv Griffin show in oh. the late 70s, yep. that we were forced mm-hmm. at gunpoint by Merv, who was usually naked, to join the union, join the guild. We call it the guild. Writers. But I'm, a, I'm East Coast. Writers Guild. East Coast, baby! How East Coast! O- How old are you? 90 years old. Oh, my God. You look great. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. Well, that's about it. That's it for us tonight. We did what we had to come here to do, that didn't we? That was a quick one, huh? Uh, Fun. Oh, no, it's not over. Nope. No. Then let's keep going. We could do let's another, talk. Uh, thing with the legal Zoom? No, legal Zoom. Uh, just one, Sean. All right. Rob big, I'm a big fan of their uh, product. I'll you know? talk about uh, going over, uh, I guess, went over to Long Island there. Yeah. I also brought up Roy. I said uh, uh, to Anthony, I said, if Roy shows up unannounced. Uh, I show up unannounced at his house like every two weeks. But I told him that I apologize because <laughs> I vouched for this fucking guy. <laughs> now he's showing up unannounced every two weeks. So I said, next time, please greet him with one of these fucking, you know, m- automatic weapons. I don't even knock that anymore. he has. I just go right to the back door. I let my. Shh. Keeps these goddamn weapons around like they're pretzel rods over there. Holy mackerel. <laughs> Leopard cats, a fucking dinosaur in the pool yard. Ready. Ready. You want to know how much money Kevin Durant's getting from Under Armour? Do I? Yeah. Why guess. not? Guess. All right. Kevin Durant, KD, KD, KD. Let's say $10 million a year for four years, $40 million. $285 Holy million. Dollars. Shit. <laughs> I was off on that. Over mo- 10 years. How much money does that company make? 280 a quarter billion dollars. Holy 
Holy wow. That's $28 million a year. For Under Armour. So he's dwarfing his NBA contract. Well, like for thermal underwear. He basically is playing for Under Armour. Yeah. He's not playing for the goddamn Oklahoma City Thunder Holy anymore. Shit. And he gets a community center built in his mother's name. What? Now, wow. this has to be yeah. the biggest endorsement deal I've ever heard of, except for maybe Nike and Jordan. I'm sure Jordan has more. You don't even have to. <laughs> oh, the Fruit of the Loom? You don't have to look it up. <laughs> Nike. I said Nike. Oh, Nike. Oh, Thanks for listening to me, though. Yeah, sorry. Appreciate yeah. it. Sometimes, you know. No, I don't know. Plus, I think no, it's I don't know. I think it's no, Haynes, you actually. said it. No, you said it. I don't know, Hendry. <laughs> I don't know. You said it. Oh, yeah, you're right. It was, it was Haynes. You're right. Why? Why? What, what makes me so fucking funny? What, the way I talk? Huh? Why, why, why am I so funny to you? Tell me. Please. You said it. Tell me what makes me so fucking funny. Oh, wow. Get out of here, Tommy. Scene from Goodfellas. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, I knew that right away. I didn't know. I thought my music gave and it away. And Durant no? is getting it up front. He's getting the cash up front every Whoa. year. Because because uh, Under Armour does, is, is like 1% of their sales are, the, are through basketball shoes. Wait, he's getting the $280 million? No, every year he'll get the, the He'll get $28, $28 million. Dollars. Well, yeah. I mean, that's wow. if he signed a 10-year deal, you would get the $28 Wait. million dollars a year. And Jordan you? made $100 million last year from Nike. Like- so Jordan's still making 100 million. So in his prime, he's making 100 million dollars a year. This is insane. In his prime, he was probably making four or five hundred uh, million. All the money. He's just he was just making all of the money. He was legitimately <laughs> playing on the Chicago Bulls, making 30 million dollars a year. People forget, and this was in 1997. He was making 30 million his last season on the Chicago Bulls. He can afford <laughs> the, the worst gambling. I'm, no wonder he's a terrible gambler. He'll never run out of money. Yeah, throw it away, Michael. Give me some money. I'll yeah. bet for you. Sure. I'll play some fancy football for you, baby. I'll get smoked. Wait, Under Armour makes basketball shoes? No, they make uh, you know little shirts. No, no, no but, but they do. Said- they do make it's like less than one. But they they do. But it, it's you know not. A but a lot of these of guys business. these days in the NBA, especially, have the tchotchkes. They got the wristbands. Yeah. They got the undershirt. Yeah, they got the braces. Out. Under Armour has all mm-hmm. of those products. Yeah. They're like top to bottom your little uh, sports equipment. I thought it was like it's like the underwear. Victoria's Secrets of sports. There you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll kind of, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Not really sure. The Victoria's Secrets of yeah. sports. Yeah. yeah. In other words, they have they I have uh, all the undergarments that under you could possibly armor. need. Mm. Under Armour. I'm with you. <laughs> are you on drugs today? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I might be soon. The glasses are. Uh, these are new glasses, huh? Oh, you notice? They're blue. Thank you, David. Uh, yeah, I got blue blue uh, <laughs> blue frames. The hardest decision of my days. <laughs> trying to figure out which pair of shades I gotta rock. Really grinding this show to a halt. <laughs> Going over w- what the color of tint is on Roy's glasses. They're definitely blue. Let's take us out, mainly because I can't talk anymore. I had cough drops, uh, but I was been talking for since four o'clock, so I'm talked out. Um, so, so that's it. Yeah. Thank you, Sean O'Barry. Thank you, Roy Schaefer Harder. Thank you, Chris Pepper Stanley. Thank you, Eric Z, our good buddy who uh, comes in video graphs for us. I'm not sure if that's even the proper terminology. Close enough. Shoots videos. And as for me, I'm East Side Dave. Davey Mac. Woo! Subscribe to the show on Riotcast.com, iTunes, EastSideDaveCountry.com. Good night, everybody! <laughs>